Joseph uh, McNelly Bharat Engineering joins us now to talk about that. Uh, Shrinivas, thanks so much for joining us. The revenues have fallen this time. You've also continued to see an EBIT loss or EBITDA loss. Um, take us through what the pressure pockets are for the company and uh, what do you expect going ahead? Uh, well, uh, you know, during, uh, as I think you know, for the last two, one and a half year company has faced uh, serious, uh, you know, financial problems. Uh, mainly because, you know, many of the projects which were uh, in uh, uh, process, they could not be executed mostly because of customer's uh, problem. But uh, now the company has uh, taken a lot of steps in terms of uh, injecting the fresh capital, then uh, uh, injecting new management team so that, you know, the company looks forward. Okay. But, uh, good morning, uh, Mr. Singh. Uh, what are you therefore expecting uh, for the next quarter? What kind of visibility you have from the order book uh, in terms of revenue and in terms of EBITDA? You see, as a whole, because as I said you, because uh, all of a sudden to in a quarter to improve uh, too much, I don't expect. But what we have uh, uh, genuinely planned is that the next year, at this moment, uh, we have an order backlog of about 2,000 crores as of uh, 31st of March. And uh, we are planning to complete that entire 2,000 crores uh, during the financial year, next financial year. In addition, we have already lined up, uh, you know, we have in pipeline about uh, seven, 8,000 crores of orders where we have participated in tenders. And we are targeting to book at least three and a half thousand crores, three thousand five hundred crores uh, new orders. Out of that, we are planning to add the one thousand five hundred crores uh, turnover in addition to the existing two thousand crores that uh, order backlog which appears on thirty first of March. So, in other words, uh, our uh, next year turnover we are targeting as three thousand five hundred crores. And the 3,500 crores in terms of revenue and bottom line, you can really see from third quarter onwards. Because the orders which are uh, in the backlog, they are pretty old orders. And uh, because of uh, serious financial problems, many of the customers not paying us on time. In fact, our data are quite high. Because many power plants where the company has taken orders, they have either some places abandoned the contracts or somewhere they are in work in progress, the uh, billable amounts yet to be received. Therefore, I don't think in the first quarter you can uh, have a, a very significant uh, growth in terms of bottom line. But in terms of, uh, uh, you know, uh, your top line, that means the first quarter we expect at least uh, six to 700 crores should be uh, per month, at least, we should be billing 200 crores from the existing uh, order. But uh, as I said you, our company has already lined up in terms of injecting the fresh capital, new people, new team, new so marketing will, this, uh, no, will it turn thing, into a yeah. profit, will sir? It, yeah. yeah. Will you be profitable anytime soon or on the back of this turnover of 3,500 yeah. crores that you're expecting? Yeah, yeah. Next year end, we expect definitely mm. by next year end. Unless, uh, you know, again, I am putting my fingers crossed because the orders which we are having, yes. they are mostly in the sector where the projects were delayed. Uh, I agree. Mainly in view of the uh, customers delayed. Mm -hmm. So, uh, although we have many, you know, negotiate, we are negotiating with them for extras and all that, if we succeed in getting mm -hmm. extras, obviously we'll have a, uh, I mean, a clear profit. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, the new orders of 1500 crores which we are going to, that will add to our revenue Fair at point. least uh, 150 to 170 crores of uh, bottom line. Yeah. Fair point, sir. Mr. Singh, thank you very much. Uh, and also